Uh, and last but not least, uh, Dr. Jeff Wheeler. Is Jeff here? Oh, there he is. Jeff does an outstanding job of serving this college. He served in many, many roles, uh, not to mention uh, accreditation co-chair, the coordinator for our honors program. Uh, he's just done a fabulous job on behalf of the college and all of our students. Congratulations, Jeff. Our next award uh, will be the Exemplary Online uh, Award, which is going to be introduced by Hussam Keshu, our new director. Hussam. Thank you, Rose. <clears throat> it's a pleasure to be here to um, introduce to you a new award that we have founded this year. Um, it's the Exemplary Online Instruction Award. Um, this award was developed and initiated by the Distance Learning Task Force, as well as the Office of Instructional Technology and Distance Learning. The Committee for the Distance Learning Task Force, I want to introduce you, let you know who they are, it's an outstanding group. Um, faculty, Peter Knapp, Anthony Staros, Melvin um, Cobb, and as well as our Dean, um, Jennifer Ryden. We have our CISO, Sylvia Lynch, uh, as well as Wendy Lopez, our Distance Learning Specialist, and myself. Um, the team, and I, sorry, and one more person that I was going to introduce now is April Juarez, who is our faculty coordinator for distance education. Um, April Juarez was taken, took the lead and did an outstanding job in forming a new committee focused on developing this um, award. The award um, was developed with a group of 12 faculty members. I'm not sure if, I want to mention all their names so you know who they are. The award committee was founded. It was a group of faculty, um, Melvin Cobb, Karen Faulkner, Christina Galin, Bethany Hernandez, April Juarez, myself, Carrie Otto, Stephanie Powell, Patrick Singh, Jim Simmons, Anthony Staros, and Robert Vitt. So this committee developed the criteria, the rubric, and the application for the distance online, exemplary online instruction award. From that award, we developed a uh, committee and we evaluated all the applicants that came to our, in our group. It was an intensive um, review of every single course that was, was submitted to us. It was, um, it was a self-nominated application with 23 questions. Um, we, all, we all focused on the, we went into each course and we evaluated each course. From there, we selected um, two outstanding, two honorable mentions and one uh, winner. It was very difficult, but the winner is um, Michael Robertson, and before I want to go into that, before he comes up here, I haven't, I haven't seen him, I'm not sure where he's at, but before he goes up, we want to let you know what this award entailed. We focused on learning support, the course design and organization, the communication and collaboration, um, student um, engagement and content, assessment and evaluation, and faculty use of student feedback. It was very intensive. I don't want to go too long in here explaining this, so I'll just go ahead and mention to you who the winner is. Michael Robertson, if you can please come up and accept your award. <laughs> Michael had an amazing job, did an amazing job in his class. Because of time, I can't go into the details of it, but we want him to actually promote his class in the future, introduce it to all of you. He did an amazing job of student engagement, um, different modes of instruction in terms of media and multimedia. He had amazing um, orientation video and so forth. He does weekly videos, updates to his faculty or um, to his students. This video updates weekly. It's not something that he recorded a long time ago. He does it weekly. It's amazing. I want um, Robert to talk a little bit. And after he's done, I want to mention the two honorable mentions. Thank you. I didn't know I would be speaking, so I'll try and keep it under 30 minutes. Um, <laughs> thank you very much. I am very humbled to represent the anthropology department in this way. Um, first of all, I need to thank the distance learning folks who helped me out so much. Um, Hussam, Cece, Monica, Wendy, Melvin. Um, shout out to anybody who went to Moodle Core Fitness Fridays. You guys trained me to do what I do, so thank you very, very much. Uh, thank you to my colleagues and the students who put up with my weekly videos and watch them religiously um, because they are tested on them and we have a lot of fun. I 
love teaching online. It is very, very, very enjoyable for me. And I, in addition, love the Moodle platform. If anybody ever wants to talk distance learning, I would love to. You can check me out, youtube.com slash anthromike. Um, that's my YouTube channel for my students as well. Um, and a quick shout out, I'm a third generation Long Beach City College instructor. So, hi dad. <laughs> Thank you very much. As you can tell why we selected him, he's an amazing instructor. And one thing I need to know, all our um, winners today, um, our first place as well as an honorable mention, they're all part-time instructors. So shout out to all our part-time instructors. <laughs> the two honorable mentions, real quick, are um, Michelle Hancock and Kathleen Walkun. I'm not sure if they're both here or not. If they are or not, I'm not sure. Please come up and get your certificate. You can't see anything from up here. I'm blinded. And all our, these instructors were actually outstanding, just like um, Robert, um, and I'm sorry, Michael. And um, they're all outstanding, and it was so difficult to select the winner, but we, um, we want to recognize them as well. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm, I think Michelle is not able to make it because she, was, um, she had to pick up her uh, children from school and so forth, so they won't be able to make it today. But I reckon a hand applause for her as well. And thank you all for, um, th thank you for the executive board for helping us found this or, um, award this year. It was a pleasure working with all our faculty. They're outstanding. It was a pleasure looking at their courses and um, the wonderful things they're doing here. Uh, we should definitely recognize them and we look forward to doing so in the future. Thank you. Okay. We're moving on to the Student Success Awards, and with that, I'm going to have President Oakley come right back up. All right. Uh, well, first of all, um, I want to personally thank everyone who was involved with this uh, ceremony. I know we've had various iterations of recognition ceremonies before, and I think this was a really great opportunity to bring all the outstanding individuals together in one place at one time and recognize you all. So uh, now we're going to recognize the Student Success Awards. So these awards uh, I think are very special. They're all special, but this is the one chance students get to pick and to nominate who their, um, the person who was most impactful to their success. So, um, the individuals, uh, and many were nominated, but these individuals who were chosen really stood out. Um, the Student Success uh, Committee who meets and reviews all the applications uh, made selection of these four individuals, and as you'll be able to see, they are outstanding individuals. Uh, there is a short video about each one of them, uh, but uh, we will bring them up one at a time and congratulate them on behalf of all of our students. So. The first winner is uh, Berlin Cobain. Come on up. Sometimes you're minding your own business, doing your teaching, and the next thing you know, the president walks in. Hi, hi, hi everybody. So every year, students nominate a uh, faculty member for the Student Success Award. And so this year, your instructor was nominated and will be super I personally thank you for everything you do for the students. I don't want to interrupt your class too much or else uh, they may turn on you. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for stopping by, President Oakley. I really All appreciate right. it. Thank you. Hi, my name is Joanna Ramirez, and what I like best about Berlin Cobian is that she's such a fun teacher and she has such a unique style of teaching. She always puts her students first, and her goal is not only to teach English, it's more so to get her students to achieve in life. 
She's such a fun and inspiring teacher and she always puts her students first and her goal is not only to teach the English subject but to get her, her students to succeed. What makes Mrs. Cobian a special professor is that she really cares for her students and she always tries to motivate you to do better and she will sit down with you and she's been a huge impact in my educational life. She makes you think critically and makes you understand readings much better and she has every student participate. I'm more secure and I believe in myself more. If it wasn't for her, I wouldn't have believed that I had the potential to be an honor student, but she gave me that push. And now I look forward more to my education and, and taking more risks. I made it just in time. I came from PCC, so it's perfect timing. Um, first of all, I'd like to say thank you so much to the students who took the time out of their very busy schedules to nominate me. And thank you so much to the Student Success Committee for selecting me. This award is really a reflection of the success of my students. I have the privilege to work with exceptional students who every day put in work to make themselves and those around them better. They're the ones that inspire me to bring my best to the classroom each day. Like many of my colleagues, I often find myself thinking and talking about the insightful ideas that my students brought up in class or in their writing. Their enthusiasm for learning is infectious. So much so that I'm often reworking my courses in order to keep up with them and keep challenging them. Um, it gives me such a pleasure to work with them and to see them grow as writers. I think that writing is one of the most powerful ways we have a voice in society. It gives us agency as individuals and it strengthens us as a community. So to be a part of that process gives me the utmost gratis satisfaction. And I'm truly grateful to my students and to Long Beach City College for giving me the opportunity to be a part of that. So thank you again for this award. Thank you, Berlin, for all you do for our students. Uh, next, uh, Don Horner. Come on up, Don. Hi, my name is Fallon Walk and I'm a CNA student at Long Beach City College. I recently got accepted into the RN program. Professor Don Horner is very intense in a very, very amazing way. And she makes you feel like she's your friend, your mother, a comrade. She tells you exactly what she expects of you and so there's no disappointments. She is a fire-filled Celtic woman with red hair. <laughs> she has no boundaries when it comes to her teaching. She loves completely with her heart. She loves her students like they're her family. She includes you in all aspects of her life. She is a nurse in her heart, in her core, and it just emulates through her teaching. She comes on strong. She lets you know exactly what's expected of you. Um, She's very animated when she teaches, so it helps you remember things pretty easily. The fact that she's very passionate about what she does, it makes you passionate about learning. Her teaching style is very hands-on. When we had situations come up, it wasn't just, oh, I taught you, you know what to do, go in there and do it. She was elbows deep, gloved up, in there helping you right by your side, making sure there was no fears, no worries. Um, just bringing out the best in every single patient, bringing out the best in her students. She is a, a lamp when she walks into the room and she really just lights it up. Oh, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> she's just an amazing, she's an amazing woman. She's been a mentor for me and she's been a role model. I'm so sorry. She's been a mentor and she's been a role model for me and she's just really what I think she encompasses what a nurse should be.
boy, it's not easy to get up here. You think you're going to come up, no tears, but when you hear some of the things that are said, it's really difficult. I'll try to keep it short and sweet. Let me start off by wanting to thank the Student Success Committee for selecting me and for my student, Fallon Mock, for nominating me. It's an honor and a privilege to receive this prestigious award. I understand that I am the second adjunct faculty to receive it, and I am truly blessed. Nurses and instructors lead by example. We need to be exemplary role models at all times for our students, without any exceptions. I believe in encouraging our students, uplifting their spirits, and supporting each student and their individual needs to help them succeed in school and prepare them for life. The old expression, we reap what we sow, I want my students to feel confident, competent, secure, and ready to take on whatever comes their way with the tools that we give them here at Long Beach City College. I have enjoyed my 10 years here at LBCC, working with the students and witnessing their accomplishments firsthand. I've seen them come into the program with the deer in the headlight look <laughs> and finish the semester with confidence and self-assurance that they are ready for the next step into the nursing of either the LVN or the RN programs here at LBCC. To all my students, past and present, God bless you and keep you safe as you travel through your career and success in the medical field. I am very thankful for the opportunity I had to come on board and be part of the nursing facility faculty here at LBCC. And to the lead instructors whom I was fortunate to work with, Cynthia Barlow, Lynn Kogaisel, Eva Talassos, and the clinical nursing instructors, Sarah Battis, Rosalind Garola, and Nicole Pina. These are amazing nurses and educators. If your actions inspire others to dream more, learn more, do more, and become more, you are a leader. And this was quoted from John Quincy Adams, one of our presidents. Again, I would like to thank all of my students and the staff here at LBCC for the wonderful memories and the constant support of each other. I will cherish all of them forever. You've been a blessing to me in more ways than I can count. Now, on that note, I'd like to ask if there are any of my students, past or present, that are in the audience, would you please stand now and be recognized? This is an awesome group of students to teach, let me tell you. They keep you on your toes. I want to thank you all for coming and sharing this award with me because it's also your award too. I'm so proud of every one of you that I know you can achieve anything your heart desires as long as you believe in yourself as I have believed in each and every one of you. To accomplish great things, you must not only act, but also dream, not only plan, but also believe. And this was a quote from Anatole France, who was a Nobel Peace Prize winner for literature in 1921. I want to thank my husband, Greg, for being so supportive and loving and kind and considerate. That's my better half. Please, would you stand? I love you. My sister, Deborah, who's been my side. You don't have to stand, it's okay. My oldest son, Brian, and his girlfriend, Elizabeth. They don't want to stand either, but that's fine. But thank you all so much. That has been such an honor and a privilege to be here at LBCC. Thank you. All right. Next, um, someone who touches our students every day and uh, usually, usually touches me when she slugs me, but uh, <laughs> Lillian Justice. <laughs> As Director of Enrollment Services, Lillian Justice has attracted a lot of attention. It is her high level of service to students going above and beyond her normal responsibilities that got her this year's nomination. You know, we have this issue with the students. 
and they nominate somebody uh, for the Student Success Award. And this year, you were nominated, and you will be receiving the Student Success Award. Here's some feedback from students. Lillian just made it happen. Because of her, I was able to stay on track to transfer. I'm on track to transfer to med school. In other places when I have sought assistance and support, they said they couldn't help because of policy. Having worked at a university before, I've experienced many staff not wanting to help because they've become jaded by routine and pesky students not making things happen by deadlines. Lillian went above and beyond and I know she didn't have to, but she chose to. She made me have faith that people who work in schools aren't there for their own personal gain, but actually advocating and supporting student success. I'm not prepared because I didn't uh, know we had to speak. So, but I just want to, to thank the students from the bottom of my heart. A lot of times when you're in management and the further you go up in management, you don't have um, the opportunity to see students as much because you're dealing with policies and regulations and all those sorts of things. But I make it a point to at least once a day go out to the counter or just walk the halls just to talk to students and to, to do the things that I can do. But I really want to thank the staff and the support that I get from all of you and the students for making it possible. Thank you. All right. Now last but certainly not least, um, someone who is always behind the scenes, in this case, uh, doing everything she can to help students succeed. Blanca Morales. Blanca Morales is a technician in the Department of Contracts Management, but she also interacts heavily with students as the first female advisor to the all-male service club, Tong. Eloy took special delight in tormenting and surprising Blanca with her award. Um, we've got an issue that came up in your area and we need to, to figure out what to do and we're glad you brought Blanca with you because, you know, every year we have this issue where the students uh, nominate um, a person who has really helped them out all year long and it's a student success award. And this year, Blanca was nominated. <laughs> You're doing something right out there because the students think you're great and that you're really helping them, uh, you know, not only succeed but to thrive here at Wilming City College. So thank you. Wow. For, uh, Here's just a microscopic portion of what Tong historian Del Arambula had to say about her. She's not just our advisor, she's, she's kind of like a, a second mom. Blanca, you've been an amazing mentor, an amazing advisor, and an amazing friend, and <clears throat> you inspire me. To, to do better for myself. And since I've known you, you've pushed me and you've pushed the club and that's my family. You face all the challenges that we do and even more so and you still give us all of your time and it's just, it's something that I admire and that I wanna take into to, to my career and into my future and hopefully I can inspire individuals and push them the way that you pushed me. It's an honor to receive this award. Um, I want to thank the student who nominated me. Um, I never expected an award. I, I truly enjoy what I do. Um, it makes me happy to see students succeed, especially uh, the ones I work with um, from the Order of Tongue International. I know sometimes I sound like a nagging mom, and um, 
but everything I do, I do it because I want them to be successful and not give up. Um, many times, that's all they need. They just need someone to motivate them and push them. And, and I'm happy that I'm able to do that. Uh, I know at times, sometimes, I overdo it. Um, but it makes me happy to see students improve as time goes by. And Dell is one of them. When I first joined the club, um, I didn't know it was an all-male club. I had no idea. But a student approached me and asked me if I would, if I work here, and I said, yeah, I do. How can I help you? And he asked if I would um, be the advisor for the club. That all they needed was an advisor to be there only once a week uh, for their meeting so the club could be charter. So I said, okay, well, you know, I do go to school and I work, and, um, but if it's just once a week, you know, I think I can manage that. But as I joined the club, then I found out it was a lot more than that. <laughs> I needed to spend a lot of time with them and um, commit myself to help with fundraising and volunteering, uh, doing service hours at different organizations. And, uh, but I enjoy doing that. I love helping people, especially the students. Um, plus, I, when I came here, uh, when I started working here, I was only a part, I was only an LTE, which means I only had a job for nine months. Never thought that I would get hired. And, and I feel blessed, I really do. I feel blessed that I work here at the college. And I feel proud to be also, um, I graduated from here and I earned my associates. And I'm currently now attending Cal State Dominguez and working on my uh, bachelor's in um, public administration. So um, I joined the club, it's been two years now, and um, everything I do, I do it from the bottom of my heart. I really enjoy helping the students, although sometimes I know that um, I scold them a lot. <laughs> but they need that, they need that, uh, to keep them in line and not lose focus. And I always tell them, you guys could do it, you just gotta, put your mind to it and don't give up, don't give up. Um, so anyways, this award is for the students. If, if it wasn't for the students, I wouldn't be standing here. And um, I'm just looking forward to more successful semesters. I plan to be here for a long time, maybe 35 more years, I don't know. <laughs> but I've been here 15 years already, so time flies. But thank you for this award. All right. Well, as you can see, student success um, happens everywhere on campus and in the community. And it really requires an entire community of support to ensure our students not only have the opportunities to attend uh, higher education, but to succeed. And so I want to thank each and every one of you, the Student Success Award winners, the outstanding colleagues, the, all of the awardees today, as well as everyone who received a service pin. Um, Blanca was correct um, when she said, we are blessed to have the opportunity to serve here at Long Beach City College, uh, because at the end of the day, we're here for the students. And at the end of the day, each and every one of you makes a difference in the lives of students. Sometimes you don't know it. Sometimes you know it when they actually nominate you for a Student Success Award. But um, I can tell you that you can multiply the voices that you heard by a thousand. And that's how many people each and every one of you touches without even knowing it. So thank you for your service to Long Beach City College. Thank you for all you do for our students. This is the time of year where we get to celebrate the fruits of all the work that we did all year and let us not lose sight of why we worked all year. We worked all year for the moment that we get to celebrate um, next week. For that moment where we can celebrate with our students the successes that they have had the opportunity to celebrate and we hope that many, 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 many more of them will have that same opportunity. So thank you. 
Uh, I want to turn it over to Rose to make sure that everyone who had a hand in today is recognized and thanks. But uh, uh, in the meantime, thank you all for being here and for helping celebrate all these outstanding employees with us. Thank you, Eloy. Uh, as we close, I just want to take a moment because, as they say, it actually takes a village to put a production like this together. And so there were many individuals and departments involved. Let me just name them. And so hold your applause till I'm done. The Departments of Human Resources, Communications, Facilities, Multimedia Services and Production, Culinary Arts, Horticulture, Long Beach City College Foundation, the Renewal Committee, and the Student Success Committee. And a special thanks to Camille Bolton to help, help spearhead this event and work closely with Human Resources. So thank you to all of you. And with that, Please join us in the foyer for cake and coffee and take a moment to congratulate our colleagues. Thank you so much for being here today.